Okay, good morning everybody. It's Captain Drew Cavanaugh of Florida Inshore Fishing Charters, Mosquito Lagoon Site Fishing Charters, and Florida Nearshore Fishing Charters, and uh, located here in East Central Florida. And today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to change the fuel filter on a Yamaha 150 XB four stroke. Um, I usually like to do it every three, four, six months, regardless whether it needs it or not. I think it's every 100 hours, but you know what? Preventive maintenance doesn't hurt. Um, just the same thing with the water fuel separator. Normally I like to do the oil every four months, the oil, oil filter, the fuel filter, water separator. Just, it's good, just a good habit. Um, it's really easy to do. It's basically the same concept on each engine. The parts are a little bit different. Here's the part number for the 150. Um, it's the same thing as for the A or the B. I've got the XB150, um, which makes it easy. So it's real easy to do. So let's get over here and I'll show you how to take the, uh, the old uh, water, the old fuel filter off and we'll put this one on real quick. Okay, so we got the top of the cowling off. Here's your fuel filter right here. And you have a little sensor wire that goes down here. First thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna unhook this. And it's real easy to do, just pop that up. There we go, just unhook that. Don't forget to hook it back up. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna unscrew this um, fuel filter assembly. I have to use a little bit of paper towel, get some grip on it here. Just be real careful when you do it. Put that towel there, you're gonna have fuel come out. You know. There we go. Just go real easy, don't force, never force anything really. You know, things like this, just be gentle with. Be very careful when messing with gasoline. All right, let me go pour this in a jar. I'll be right back. Okay, so we drained the gas. We got the new filter in here. Let's get this gasoline rag out of there. And let's put this bad boy back in there. Just like I said, be real gentle. Everything looked fine with it. Didn't see anything wrong with it. I mean, it's a brand new engine, so shouldn't be. Just tighten that back on there. Just be real easy. And let me say something on the side while we're doing this. This is a great time. Every time you take your cowling off, inspect your engine. Just give it a visual eyeball. Walk around. Good time to shoot a little bit of oil on your on your fittings. Check everything. Make sure everything's good. Check your engine oil. Now, in a minute, we're going to change the oil, so that'll be given let's get this hooked back up you know if you got corrosion block some corrosion spray spray i use corrosion block you can spray that in there good time to do that but just make sure that sensor's plugged back in hand tighten that it's good enough and that right there is how you change a fuel filter on a 2022 yamaha f-150 and this pretty much works for you know the f-150 200 all the engines smaller engines might be a little bit different but it's the same concept and i have other videos out there <coughs> excuse me that you can watch for this kind of stuff so if you want to see a specific engine just look up some of my videos subscribe to my channel and anybody has any questions feel free to call me again it's captain drew cavanaugh with florida inshore fishing charters florida nearshore fishing charters located here in east central florida i hope everybody has a great day and i hope to see you out there on the water thank you